Hi, it's Russell here from Prime Motion Training. Today I wanted to chat with you about your Victoria Police applicant profile. Now, more importantly, I want to focus on the other profile that could potentially derail your application. Okay, so naturally when you apply to join an organisation like Victoria Police, you'll submit an application. And the information contained in that application will help Victoria Police to form a picture of you or a profile of you as an applicant, either suitable or not suitable. Now we know there's a number of other assessments that will come into play, entrance exams, video interviews, fitness and psychological testing, all of these other elements will of course add to that picture of you as an applicant. Now in the background there are other assessments underway and one of those assessments is the other profile that I wanted to chat to you about today and that is your online profile. Now we do so much online these days, we'll pay bills online, we'll order products and services online, we communicate, we socialise online, all of these things will help to form a picture or a profile of us as a person. Put aside any application for the moment and big companies will use that information to try and sell you, you know, products and services based on the profile that is created through your online activities. Now, for me, it's important to make sure that you're conscious as an applicant to you know, try to join Victoria Police, that your applicant profile is consistent with your online profile. Naturally, you're going to present yourself in an application in the most positive light that you can. Your online profile is raw, it's honest, it's real, it's not done in a way that's to catch someone's eye for, for a job or anything like that. It's natural, it's just you being you. So that can cause you to come unstuck. It could derail your application if what you present in your online picture or profile is very inconsistent with what you're claiming to be in a job application. Obviously your character, your behavior, your maturity level, uh, the activities that you get yourself involved in, groups that you might be involved in, uh, particularly in a social setting, photographs and, and video image of, of you having a good time or doing whatever it is that you do in your social activities, those things need to represent you well. So the challenge for you now is to have a quick look at your online profile and just compare that with the application profile that you're trying to present to Victoria Police. If it's not consistent, if there are some potential issues there, you might want to resolve those as quickly as you can. Overall, Victoria Police is going to be very thorough in assessing you as an applicant to make sure they're getting someone worthy of the position and someone who is suited to the position, who has the qualities and attributes and the values that are consistent with those that are possessed or held by Victoria Police. All right, well, I hope you found that helpful. I look forward to chatting to you again in another discussion soon. Thank you.